The definition of iatrogenesis is inadvertent and preventable induction of disease or complications by the medical treatment or procedures of a physician or surgeon. This is overly simplified, however, as the phenomenon of iatrogenesis is a large problem in Western biomedicine. Globally, it is estimated that 142,000 people died in 2013 from adverse effects of medical treatment. Some medical journal articles have concluded that iatrogenesis is the leading cause of death and injury in the United States. Some of the reasons for death due to medical intervention include adverse drug interactions, wrong medication prescribed, negligence, infections from hospitalization, unnecessary procedures, and unclean environment. Our group has split up some of these factors to examine more closely. We have chosen three aspects of iatrogenesis. A nosocomial infection is the infection that a patient contracts when entering the hospital or seeking medical care for unrelated reasons. These infections are one of the most frequent adverse effects that occurs in healthcare in the entire world. In the United States alone, nosocomial infections account for 99,000 deaths every year. Oftentimes, the illnesses or infections contracted by the patients while in the hospital are more serious than what they were initially seeking treatment for. Some factors associated with nosocomial infections include high-risk procedures, prolonged use of invasive devices and antibiotics, as well as an already weakened immune system in the patient. This is my grandmother, Eleanor Siglinski. In 2008, she was placed in a nursing home in St. Louis, Missouri because she suffered from Alzheimer's disease. While she was in that nursing home, she contracted pneumonia and ended up dying from complications of it. This is a prime example of a nosocomial infection because my grandmother picked up an infection while in a medical environment and ended up passing away from it and not her initial illness, which was Alzheimer's disease. Nosocomial infections are particularly dangerous in medical environments that suffer from things like inadequate environmental hygiene and waste disposal, overcrowding, understaffing, and a lack of knowledge about blood safety and injection. And also, showmeal infections have a lot of consequences for patients as well. Things like increased hospitalization periods, potential for death, as well as a huge financial burden. In the United States, no social infections cost about $6.5 billion. From both a health perspective and a financial perspective, patients cannot afford to have these infections. The discovery of antibiotics was a great stride for medical history. Its advancements allowed diseases such as strep throat, pneumonia, and serious infections such as syphilis to be treated, thus allowing longer lifespans. Scientists such as George Hitchings states that the increase in life expectancy over the last 50 years has been attributed to new medicines. Although advancements of medicines have done very well, no good deed goes unpunished. With antibiotics comes bacteria resistance. It weakens the immune system, making it harder for patients to heal from commonly contracted infectious diseases such as MRSA while they are staying in the hospital. According to John Bunker, estimates that adverse, adverse effects occurring in the course of treatment, one-third to two-thirds, which can be attributed to medical error, are responsible for between 44,000 and 98,000 deaths annually in America. We as patients need to be informed of this information so we can better prepare ourselves. Adverse drug reactions are any injury caused by taking a medication may occur following a single dose or prolonged administration of a drug or results from the combination of two or more drugs. Now to tell some uh, very interesting facts about them. Adverse drug event events result in more than 770,000 injuries and deaths each year and cost up to $5.6 million per hospital. Uh, patient injuries resulting from drug therapy are among the most common types of adverse events that occur in hospitals nowadays. Another fact, adverse drug events can result in a number of different physical consequences ranging from allergic reactions all the way to death. Uh, one study estimated that 9.7% of AD, ADEs cause permanent disability. Another study estimated that the increased risk of death per patient who experiences an ADE is nearly twice that the patient who does not. For a personal example, at LDS Hospital in Salt Lake City, researchers found that patients who experience ADEs were hospitalized on average of one to five days longer than patients who do not suffer them, with additional costs ranging up to $9,000. Adverse drug reactions cannot be predicted by patient characteristics or drug types. 
Adverse drug reactions can be prevented and detected, though, depending on the hospital. And lastly, hospital systems can be changed so ADEs are more readily prevented and more detected. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about death caused by medical negligence or medical error. Here's some statistics. Death caused by medical error is the number three killer in the United States. About 400,000 people die each year because of medical errors, which is about 1,000 people a day. And medical errors is costing the United States about a trillion dollars each year. A 41-year-old woman came to the Birmingham and Women's Hospital in Boston for a routine ankle surgery. The anesthesiologist that was in the operating room injected her with a painkiller into the wrong place that caused her heart to stop. To get her heart restarted, they ended up cracking open her chest, which saved her life in the end. But this could have all been avoided if the doctor would have just paid attention and not injected her in the wrong place with the painkiller.